from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week on Americana Outdoors, we're heading out for a fun-filled day of crappie fishing. I've loved crappie fishing ever since I was a little kid. I mean, my dad, my uncles, our entire family really enjoyed to go crappie fishing. So it's a, it's a passion. It's something I've done since I was, you know, knee high, and it's just something I always look forward to going and doing. And when you get on a great crappie fishing trip, it, it's very laid back, very enjoyable. I love catching fish, but I love more. Spending time with good people that we give each other a hard time, I give them a hard time, they give it right back at me. That's what makes your day fun. Fun is an understatement on this type of a trip. You know, we're out here with good friends, uh, up and having a good time, losing fish, catching fish, getting tangled up, catching giants, catching little ones. And all in all, you're just having a lot of fun. And that, at the end of the day, is what a trip like this should be about. Before we officially catch up with the guys in the water, let's rewind and see how Wade, Jim, and Chase prepared for their day out on Choke Canyon Reservoir. Just about every lake in the nation you go to is going to have a bait shop. And you go in there and there's just something about going in a bait shop, picking up the minnows and you're buying snacks and soft drinks and getting your ice and they're just a must-have destination for that little local insider knowledge and to buy your minnows. Speaking of minnows, here's how our team will be keeping their bait alive today with air temps in the triple digits and water temps in the low to mid 80s. Fishing with live bait is, I mean, face it, it's the way to catch things. You're going to get a lot of bites with live bait, but you have to keep your bait lively. And using a live bait cooler, such as what Engel has, you basically got an insulated cooler to keep your water chilled. Five degrees, 10 degrees cooler than what it is outside. That is more oxygen, keeps the minnows lively. You also have the option or the opportunity to put a battery powered aerator in there. It's got a hose, gets more oxygen in there. Once again, keeps that bait lively. It allows you to fish longer in the day because you've got live bait. Then you have the, you know, the ease of having the little net in there to lift up and down so that you can grab the bait very fast. And it's just a system that I feel is designed to help you catch more fish because it's gonna keep your bait lively and alive, which is gonna allow you to spend more time out on the water and, and fill your limits. You know, this trip in particular down on Choke Canyon, a lake that I've got a lot of knowledge on, I get to go with my old time, long, long time friend, Jim Binkin, not gonna say how old he is, and a new, you know, younger guy, Chase Hux. You know, Chase and his friend Matt are, you know, the principals behind their fishing operation down here on Choke Canyon. They have a passion, they have an energy to get out and work. So when you go out with them, you know you're gonna be around fish. This is something I truly enjoy, I've done it. Since I was eight years old, my dad took me out to Lake Fork on a guided fishing trip, and that's where I really fell in love with it. So what I truly enjoy doing is getting the younger generation into fishing, get them catching fish, and get them steered towards the right direction. With options to choose between day trips out on the lake or extended stays at their beautiful lakeside lodging sites, Choke Canyon Charters is one of the best places on the lake to take a guided fishing trip. To book a fishing trip with these incredibly passionate and knowledgeable guys, visit ChokeCanyonCharters.com. So tell us crappie secrets. I mean, do you let it go down to the bottom? I've heard things that you don't ever let it go past them, keep it above them and bring it up. Is there any truth to that or is that all just magazine stuff? I mean, what I've figured out, crappie always look up whenever they're eating, they never really follow baits down. Okay. I like to keep it the baits above the brush piles because if they're sitting in the brush pile, they're constantly looking up. Okay. So shad, this is, I mean, obviously we're imitating shad here with minnows. Yeah. So bringing it up above them, you know, I like to pitch it out a little bit past the pile and kind of swim it over top. Okay. And I agree with like what Chase would say, how they look up. So I put my weight on the bottom. Yeah. So my bait is above okay. everything like that. Makes total sense, yeah. 
that's how I was shown by my dad and my family, my uncle, and that's just kind of the way I crappie fish. And that's the cool thing about pan fishing. You know, that that's something you did with your, your grandpa. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Your dad, your grandpa. Something to be said for it. Yeah. It's good times, man. We need a little bit of wind so we can stay, yeah. the trolling motor stay straight. It's Choke Canyon and we'll find wind. Oh yeah. It'll blow. It'll show up. It's a little bit of a different direction. Usually it comes from Oh, you can see him on the screen. Got him? You can see him on the screen. Oh yeah. Nice. You can see him on the screen. Good eater too, man. Mm -hmm. oh, We're keeping right, Middleton? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know you want to eat some. Uh, oof. Fish catch number one goes to the young gun, who's quickly giving these old dogs a run for their money. When we come back, we'll hear more about how the Garmin Live Scope serves as an advantage on the water. There's no feeling like it. When you've prepped a gear, done the research, found the spot, nailed the presentation, and now there's only one thing left to do. Keep fishing. So gear up with all the best fishing gear. Only at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Shop in store or online. You have a full-time job and you want to be a full-time angler. Don't waste time scouting. You want to catch fish. That's where Garmin comes in. Our mapping with Navionics data lets you see more detail than the fish do. It's kind of a big deal. Oh, and our industry-leading live sonar is so crisp and clear, you'll think you jumped in. You're welcome. Now, if only we had a powerful, efficient, whisper-quiet trolling motor. Actually, we do. It's called Force. We knew you'd like that. Less time finding, more time catching fish. Only with Garmin. When there's miles of water in front of you, and hundreds of feet below, you need a boat with the chops to dominate, no matter the conditions. With the strength and technology to overcome the elements and the competition. Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. The day has only just begun, and our crew hasn't been on the water long, but they're already seeing plenty of action below, thanks to their Garmin Live Scope. Well, I can see mine plain as day. Here comes one, here comes one. Here, you got him? Oh, I see him coming up. That is cool, man. That is as cool as it gets, man. You can see him coming up. Ooh, buddy. It's amazing how much this shows you how alive a lake yes. is. Yes, how bad we really are in certain situations <laughs> yeah. is the reality of it that, you know, I tell people, oh, I might have been in the brush pile. I mean, we're fishing with live bait and I can't believe how often fish come up to it and don't eat it, you know? Yeah. I mean, you can see them on there. I don't know how we crappie fished before it. I mean, I know what we did. We'd pull up to a tree or a brush pile that we thought was there or a marker buoy. We'd drop it down, we'd reel up one crank. They didn't bite it the first crank, we'd reel it up two cranks. They didn't bite it the third crank, we'd reel up three cranks. But we had no idea really truly what was below us. Now with live scope, we know how many fish are there. We know what those fish are doing. We know how they're reacting when we're fishing. You can see everything go down. You can watch your line, you can watch your hook. You can watch them react to it, big and small. You can see different species come across and tell what they are. It is, you know, people call it video game fishing. I don't really think that that does it justice. I think it's just fishing on steroids that brings everybody together. Because when you see a brush pile and you see life down there and you see action down there, you know you're gonna get a bite. The thing about crappie fishing is you don't have to overthink it with everything a lot of times. You know, I mean, I've got six packages of hooks I probably bought, I don't know, two years ago in a, in a weight, and sure, I break a few lines off in a brush pile every now and then, but other than that, it's pretty simple. I mean, you can see, this is my rig. There's my leader line, there's my hook, there's my weight, so it's pretty simple type of fishing. I wish they'd catch more so we'd have more to eat. Chase has got one, there you go. Fish on! Yeah, hey, you, you can. You took that by cue. You can literally like see, that. right when a school of shad swam by the tree, he caught that fish. I mean, it's crazy. I like that. I guess I have to move though. I kind of like my workbench. I'll open it up for you. Nicely done, sir. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh oh. Jimmy's got a big one. 
happening now. Middleton's retying and Chase and I are catching fish. That's a good Look one. Look at the belly on that thing. It's hard. It. It's hard. Been I finally all, came through for the team. He's been eating all your minnows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been eating them. He's got five or six of my I'm sitting there thinking yeah. I probably need to go buy more minnows because Jim's like 0 for 27 before that fish. <laughs> Why is it always pick on gym day, huh? I'm not, I'm not picking on you. You just put dinner in the, in the uh, ice chest. I'm just stating a fact. Yes. <laughs> I like to make positive impacts on our society. Stating a fact. That one lit it up. He, he bit it. Come here and spit my minnow up. Yipper. Where was Wade at, Chase? He's right there. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, again? <laughs> he really? Thump, he thumped it pretty good. You dogs. <laughs> gonna make it? Yeah. Nah, oh, oh, wait. He, he's not wait. gonna make it. Oh, we got Triple! Whoa. Finally, Jim comes through. We'll hold it up and take a picture for you. Woohoo! <laughs> Attaboy, Jim. <laughs> After Wade fired up that flurry of fish, the guys went on a crappie catch and tear. Oh man, he smoked it. I mean, that one smoked it. That one smoked it. Oh, oh God, God dang. It. Don't lose that Don't one. lose that <laughs> big daddy. <laughs> dang. <laughs> Go. Yeah, <laughs> finally. Jim comes through. That's a real one. All right. You know, every place you go is going to have a specific limit, a specific length limit that you're going to have to understand. On the, and every body of water can be uniquely different. Right here where we're fishing, it's 10 inches, 25 a person. Now we won't. You know, we won't try to all three catch a limit today, but we are going to catch just enough to have, you know, I think Jim's having a fish fry. I'm going to actually smoke some, so pretty good, uh, pretty good start on the day. As Wade mentioned, it's been a fantastic start to the day here on Choke Canyon Reservoir. When we come back, the guys show no signs of slowing down. The Yamaha VMAX V6 SHO continues to deliver the level of performance that pro bass and multi-species anglers demand. Underneath a bold and aggressive new look, an upgraded charging system with 40% more charging power meets the amped up demand for today's advanced electronics. The VMAX SHO, raw power, reliability, and exhilarating performance for every angler who loves the sport enough to invest in the best. Yamaha, reliability starts here. We don't have a large laboratory to test baits. Why, you ask? We don't need a big laboratory because our pros fish, our employees fish, our owners fish, and our kids fish. This is our laboratory. Our R&D comes from time on the water. All that time on the water brings us thousands of hours of testing new products and improving current ones for all species. Big Bite Baits, designed to bring the big bite to your line. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. We're on the waters of Choke Canyon Reservoir, where Wade, Jim, and Chase have been reeling in fish all morning long and dishing out some good old-fashioned rassing throughout the day. Jim Benkins Tackle Box. I work for a fishing charity, Cast for Kids Foundation. Wade Middleton is a professional fisherman and, and president of Careco Multimedia. We're going to check, compare our tackle boxes. Oh, God. Talk about spoiled rotten. That guy right there, spoiled <laughs> rotten. Look at that. So organized. <laughs> Holy I love cow. my tackle. <laughs> you know what? Three quarters of the fun of fishing <laughs> is breaking off and buying more tackle. And the other quarter of it is catching fish. <laughs> God, dang it. Uh, we love you, Jim. Yeah, I'm <laughs> beginning to wonder. <laughs> there we go. Got him. Well, there's one little spot on this one that's got yeah. him. Nice. Good one. Oh, he's just going to comment about how. Can't Good see time. the hook in there. No, I, no. I gave you a compliment. I said it was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
I hope he's a keeper. Whoa, look at that slab. God dang, Chase. <laughs> That's a stud. Good fish. Got one. Do you want one too? I got on the right side. Nice. And I have the littlest one. No. <laughs> At least I got Chases right. can eat I mine. One, but... <laughs> nice fish. That's a jammer. It's a slob right there, dude. Biggin. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big one. Ooh. Got him? Got him. There you go. He was in it. Looks like another big one. Big one? Look at that one. Man, I want one of them rods. Oh! God, dude. <laughs> Holy smoke. That's a full grown one. God. <laughs> Oof, I missed one. Nice. That is absolutely amazing. That's what you come down here for. And I catch a little one again. <laughs> Chase has the hot hand. You know, it's, it's okay. Be nice to your elders day is definitely not today. Chase has is, is got two giants. And you know, that's why one of the big reasons you come to Choke Canyon to go on trips like that is, you know, this is the future. He caught the present. So that is, makes it for a fun day of, of crappie fishing. Drowning minnows or jigs or whatever it takes. That's something they're gonna offer. Oh, you had one come up. Really? So that is her? Yes, huh? There you go. Oh! Well, man, I soaked that one Talk forever. To me. <laughs> oh, oh, God yeah. damn. Nice. That's the kind we like, huh? I think I'm just gonna put my rod down after that one. Hard to top I'm it. Go marinate. <laughs> well, that's what crappie fishing, the fun part of the me, crappie fishing. Of course, the eating part's really good. <laughs> the eating part is my favorite. Sorry. Good time. Appreciate Sorry. it. It's always fun to Thank go. You, man. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty good. Look at his tail. It's all too Beautiful good. fish. Like it, still not as big as one Chase caught. This showed his elders no respect. We had a great morning today on uh, Choke Canyon Reservoir. I got to fish with two really good friends, Chase Hux and Wade Middleton. I've fished with Jim uh, many times. Uh, Wade, this is the first trip I've had with Wade. Everybody felt relaxed. Everybody, you know, was friendly out on the boat. We hit jab at each other a little bit, but it's all fun and games. We talked about some stories that, quite frankly, I, I kind of forgot about being old as I am. So they reminded me, oh, we did that. Yeah, that's right. And that's kind of the cool thing about being on the water. You're enjoying it. You're having a good time. And it's an absolute blessing. At the end of the day, the memories and the good hook sets and the ones that got away, <laughs> getting hung in a few places, watching Jim break some things, man, just makes for a great trip. When we come back, we're taking an in-depth look at an exciting new jig head from Big Bite Baits. Born in Japan, FC Sniper became the number one fluorocarbon line in the Japanese market. It transitioned to the U.S. in the early 2000s and continues to grow in prominence with anglers. FC Sniper is the flagship product in the American market and bestseller. It features the perfect blend of abrasion resistance, low memory, and tensile strength. FC Sniper is offered in pound tests that range from 2 pound to 30 pound and in spool sizes up to 1,200 yards. FC Sniper has the strength to guarantee your confidence. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard, we play hard, and to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. We've seen how an exciting day of crappie fishing with great friends equals a ton of fun for everyone on the water. Now, let's take a look at the brand new jig that's taking the fishing world by storm. This is the Pendulant Jig Head by Big Bite Baits, and as you can see, it basically it has the ability to, to swivel uh, right up here. It's got a, it's all built in, you can turn it, it comes in multiple sizes, and it's been designed for usage on the forward looking sonar type applications, you know, much like the Garmin Live Scope. Uh, whether you're a bass fisherman or a pan fisherman or really whatever species that you're looking at, it comes in four different sizes 
and we're going to be spending some time looking at it as other people have and how it performs and there's a lot of good reasons to have a jig head exactly like this. You know, one of the biggest trends over the past four or five years has definitely been the forward-facing sonar. And one of the big things that we've learned, especially fishing there at home on Table Rock, some of our clear water lakes, where we do a lot of vertical fishing, is um, live scope's a big, big deal in that aspect too. And this new big bite pendulette head is gonna be the perfect head anytime you're wanting to vertical fish. It's gonna come with this new Gamakatsu uh, specially designed wide gap three-out hook. It's going to be available in four sizes. We've got an eighth, three sixteenths, quarter and three eighths. So it's going to be a bait that you can use for uh, so many different uh, aspects, crappie fishing, pan fishing, bass fishing, walleye fishing. I mean, this pendulet head is going to be a tremendous head anytime you're wanting to fish a bait vertically. You can rig this jig head with a lot of different uh, sizes of baits. Uh, it comes in four different sizes of heads and it's going to give you the ability to finesse fish uh, vertically or in a casting situation. Uh, one of the things I really like about it is the way that the head will spin right like this to eliminate line twist and allow you to be able to use it a lot in those forward looking sonar type applications. I use Garmin LiveScope a ton uh, whether I'm fishing over brush piles for bass, uh, crappie, panfish, whatever it may be, or I'm casting to fish uh, out in front of me with you know a, a finesse type bait. And this, this type of a jig head is going to give you the opportunities to present the bait better, less line twist, a great hook that'll be able to handle any size fish that you're going to hook. And uh, you know, like I said, a variety of, of baits can be used in it from a finesse type standpoint. You know, an advantage of a jig head like this with the swivel basically built into the into the head of it is a couple of things in my opinion, and we're gonna learn more about it as we use it, but the fish can't get as much leverage when he's throwing his head back and forth when you're fighting them or those fish are jumping out there because the line tie is locked in. And this line tie, like we've seen, it, it rotates and moves around. So as the fish shakes his head, it's going to kind of work in and around those, those head shakes out there to lessen the ability for that fish to, to throw the bait. Secondly, uh, this type of a, a pendulum moving type device, the swivel right here, is going to lessen your line twist. And, and that's obviously a big key in, in spinning rod type fishing. It's so easy, really in any kind of fishing, to get coils built up or your line can just you know get a little extra slack in there. And what happens when you get a coil in there, and I'll kind of bend my line like this, um, you know, you're, that's that's line or slack that you've got to pick up when you're setting the hook. But in this case here, the way that the bait is setting and hanging, you're, you're not going to have that type of situation while you're out there. So uh, whether you're using it in a finesse bass fishing type situation or you're pan fishing, you're using it in forward looking sonar, whatever type of situation that you're looking at, it's just going to be another tool to help you generate more bites, but also not lose them when you hook them up. There he is. Crappie. <laughs> That's so fun. You know, the, the whole forward look in the pan optics live scope by Garmin has just changed the way that I like to fish for panfish, largemouth, any kind of fish. Basically, they're just a lot of, it's a lot of fun looking at them. And, uh, you know, I've got one little brush pile out here. We're dropping this pendulant jig head with a little swim on bait from Big Bite on there. And I'm using 10 pound Sunline Sniper with a 10 pound actually braided line and just dropping it down here and, and it's a really light bite, you know, and th you pull them out of there. It's such a fun way to catch fish. That won't ever get old. For more information on the Pendulate Jig, visit BigBiteBaits.com. Hey, thank you for watching and join us next week on a new episode of Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production. This episode was made possible by these partners. Sometimes the world can seem a cold place, so we gotta bring the warmth to it. Sometimes the world can seem a dark place, so we gotta become the light in it. Sometimes the world can seem a broken place, so we gotta strive to fix it.
We prepare for the worst, but we must always, always expect the best. I got my power pulled down. Stuck in the mud in the bottom of the lake. Sitting so still in the wind and the waves. Could even be a hurricane. I got my power pulled down. You've already discovered the secret to success with the Secret Lure Stupid Tube and landed big one after big one. Well now, Secret Lures is giving you even more fish catching chances with the all new Stupid Craw. Sized to fit the 4 aught Secret Lures Stupid Tube jig head, the Stupid Craw has you covered from the brand new 5 16 ounce down to an 8 ounce jig head. On the belly of the craw, you'll find two molded dots that act as a rigging guide, giving the jig head perfect alignment when rigged. The stupid craw also boasts a hook trough that protects the hook from snags and vegetation, allowing for a perfect weedless presentation. Anyone at Secret Lures will tell you, the stupid craw is 3.7 inches of crawdad goodness that you're going to want in your tackle box this year. So head on over to secretlures.com for more information about the brand new stupid craw by Secret Lures. The Little John family expands with new rattling versions of the Little John 50 and Little John 50 MD. Both of these baits are proven fish catchers that will now be available in rattling versions for stained and muddy water. They feature the same great action and diving depths as the original 50 and MD sizes.